Hey everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face, glad you're here and I hope everyone is safe. Um, I live on the East Coast and um, today is the day that the hurricane it was going to hit and um, we were hearing all kinds of reports but um, so far we have a lot of rain, no high winds, uh, especially where I am. Uh, I think even uh, further out east there might be high winds but um, we were spared that so I'm really happy that it turned out like that and um, unfortunately I probably will be going to work tomorrow <laughs> so um, that's that so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, a shave with another Perlman and this one is called Coffee Op I think that's how you pronounce it if someone uh, if I'm mispronouncing it tell me how to pronounce it and that's what it is uh, here is the um, the soap scent to me doesn't smell like coffee at all it, it it actually does smell like chocolate that's my interpretation of it yours may vary because we all smell things differently right so what we're gonna do is gonna make a bowl lather bring it to the face do a shave and talk about the results so stay tuned don't go away okay as you can see the bowl is here and um, it is empty here's the soap in question and it has this little protective cover on it so let's take it off good idea I like that um, and then we'll take some of this it's it's not too it's not rock solid that you can't do what I'm doing right now which is scraping off some of the soap and the texture is that it's um, not too hard and then you can see I'm placing it inside the bowl and as I do this the uh, the scent the scent is um, coming coming forth and it's it's not a, it's it's an enjoyable uh, scent, but it just smells like chocolate to me. So let me get this in there good. And this is not a tutorial. This is just the way I'm doing this. Whatever soap you have, and whatever you want to do, that's what you do because we're all different right right this is not a tutorial so with that done we're going to use the brush here the wet the shave brush and we're gonna put some warm water on this and we're gonna shake out the contents of the brush in the bowl and then we're gonna do the lather so here we go I can see like um, a discoloration in the suds. It's sort of uh, like um, an orange. I don't know if you could see that, but definitely that's what it looks like to me. And now we're starting to get lather type of suds, so. It's getting to that point. Switching hands. All right. And as you can see, we have a lot of it, so let's bring this to the face and do the shave. Okay, I have about uh, five to six days growth, so uh, let me wet the face.
And here is the soap in question, the lather. So here we go. Let's apply it. I'm going to make some circular motions, trying to force it into the beard by doing that. Looking good so far. The scent still has that chocolate that I refer to. Okay. Just gonna wash off my hands. Drying, drying off. Okay, my, uh, I forgot to bring the razor over. My razor today is the Occam's razor. Let's um, wet it down a little bit and start the shave. So here we go. Yep. Uh, been trying to batten down the hatches. I think uh, I think we did okay. You know when when people hear hurricane or storm, it they tend to overreact. And I don't know. Um, Maybe it's a good thing they overreact, but when you go, like I went into, my sister called me, uh, you better get supplies, blah, 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 blah. I, okay, all right, I'll go. And when I got there, people were just going absolutely out of their minds. You know, there were no, for a large uh, supermarket, there were no carts outside, not one. I had to use one of the little hand basket things. Can imagine a giant superstore, shopping superstore, food shopping superstore, no carts. And wouldn't you know, I don't know why this is what people do. And I think it's like told through generations. Milk, eggs, Bread. All of them gone. Now, granted, you know, it's a good idea to have those things, right? In case the power goes out. And you can watch them just rot. Because if your power goes out and you have no way to, to keep a refrigerator going, those things that you just bought are gonna spoil. So really, if you're, you know, If you're smart, like I saw one gentleman do, he went to the, he went and bought, I think it was 10 to 12 bags of ice. Smart move. And a guy like that has probably seen and experienced things uh, before. You know, he wanted to be prepared, so he was wise enough to do those things. 
protect what you already have in the refrigerator. Maybe that's what his, you know, what his uh, logic was. Because sometimes, like when we, like when Sandy hit our location, we were out of power for at least a week and a half to two weeks. I had people sleeping over my home. They just, because we had, it was in the, it was cold at night and um, I had gas stove, so I was fine. All right, let me just, Now since I have no aftershave with that, let me see what I can find. You know, I'll just use Gray's Vetiver and uh, top it off with that. <clears throat> so, I had a good shave. It was great. Um, you know, does it have the appropriate slickness and glide? It's more than adequate to do a shave with. You could see that I have no problems with it. So um, if you want to give that a try, fine. No problems whatsoever. And um, I had a great shave. And I hope you have a great shave. And I'll see you next week.